Hello, Angela. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, Lee. Oh, Paul, how's it? <laughs> um, before you read the task, please put the safety goggles on. Okay. Already got glasses on, so it's going to be a bit. That actually works great. Smash this buzz. As fast and dramatically as you can. And your time starts now. No! <laughs> Those were all $43 vases, which means Taskmaster New Zealand Season 1 had a $215 vase budget. Which is the largest vase budget in New Zealand television history. <laughs> well, yeah! I can right. tell you that. Who shall we watch smash it first? We've got three impressive smashes from three of our most destructive competitors. It's Guy, Brinley, and Lee. Smash this vase as fast, as dramatically as you can. Time starts now. <laughs> is everyone OK? Are you, is everyone OK? Time starts now. Spade first, here we go. Pretty dramatic. I'm gonna throw some um, camera equipment. No! <laughs> I can't stop hitting you, but I love you. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Oh, well, I guess I win. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seems like some people missed a task there, potentially. <gasps> <laughs> Was there something inside the vase? I like that you still didn't see it. <laughs> we literally just finished with a slow zoom <laughs> on the second task. Oh. I didn't even get it until she got it and you pointed out to her, and now I'm feeling like I missed something. And Lee, Lee well, seems just, to have still not got it. With Lee. I didn't know a show I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I... Sadly, uh, you guys are disqualified. It's just the rules of the rules. Oh. Yeah, the rules of the rules. I'm sorry, the it's rules of the rules. quite brutal. No, it's fair enough, Jeremy. You've got a job to do and we, we should... Play Shut up, Lee! <laughs> You're full so, of shit! Sorry. Should we find out if Madeline and Angela found the second task? You know it would be dramatic? Not using any of these implements. But that the drama comes from the fact that I just... It sort of wasn't as dramatic as... I was kind of hoping for smithereens. Oh. I just want to smash it now. Ooh! <laughs> Good. Wait, is there another task inside of it? Oh, no! Uh, oh, fuck. You motherfuckers! Reassemble the vase to its original condition. Best reassembly wins. You've got 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Fuck's sake. OK. Can I just, uh, a bit behind the scenes, Lee just said to me, I'm glad I didn't find that task. <laughs> I was going to say, you guys probably wanted to be disqualified from that one, surely. I think I would have pretended not to see that task if I'd known that would have <laughs> OK, shall we see how they did putting them back together again? Yes, here is Madeline Sami and Angela Dravid reassembling some vases. OK, OK. This is OK. I really screwed this up. Um... <sighs> Am I allowed glue? Or um, even just like peanut butter or something? I don't know what I'm doing. Do you have a balloon? What did you want the balloon for? I don't know, to stop hyperventilating or something. <laughs> oh, peanut butter. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm not good at puzzles. I am not good at puzzles. I feel like um, I'm not going to make it. Just um, let's see. My master bears. <laughs> that might hold. Oh. oh, you little ball sack. You're not a ball sack, Paul. I was talking about the vase. Ball sack, if you know. A pool sack. Fine. <laughs> Something like that's good. Oh, yeah, just build it up around there. I'd say it's going pretty good. How do you think it's going? It's hard to say. Done. 
Um, it's abstract, but I, I tried. Thank All you, right, Madeline. See you later. Paul, you said our vase budget was $215, but we could just return both of those vases and probably get our money back. <laughs> Should we do a side-by-side -side comparison? I think that will help for scoring. <laughs> when you look at those, I feel like my pile of rubble on the ground should be reinstated. Yeah. I'm back in the game. No, you're not back in the game. No. Madeline's kind of looks like something you'd smoke drugs out of. <laughs> and Angela's is a metaphor for 2020. <laughs> I want to go to the audience for this, actually. I'm interested to know. So who likes Angela's? <laughs> who likes Madeline's? <laughs> no, I think you're willing to write the first time. I think Madeline, you're five. Right, Angela, you're four. And I actually think, really, you should get some points as well because you had a particularly dramatic smashing. Thank you. I thought so too. Uh, you're one, Brinley, and you guys are zero. Zero! Fair judge, zero. fair judge. This task, like most, was recorded at our top secret Taskmaster Ranch. It was designed to test our contestants' ingenuity and to test how long I could hold my arm out in front of me. This music saves you guys money on playing music. Hello, Lee. Hey, Paul. How are you? Hello, Angela. Hello. It's like you're having a very lonely birthday party. Oh. No, no. That's mine. All right. No, not that. Okay. It's, it's in my pocket. Oh, <laughs> couldn't see it. <laughs> Feeling good about this one? You going to a party? No. Mm. Keep the balloon in the air the longest. You may strike the balloon, but you cannot hold it. Every strike must be with a unique object. Your time starts when you say... Your time starts when you say release the balloon. Which must be within 10 minutes from now. I might go get some unique objects, I think, Paul. OK. A coffee or anything? Or... I'll oh, see so nice. what I can do. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I guess I leave you there for ten minutes, and I go find some stuff. Okay. Good luck holding that balloon up. Very simple task. This one. Spend ten minutes gathering items, and then spend as long as you can hitting a balloon with those items. So I take it we've got one more entry. We do, and it's from our most considerate and thoughtful and kind contestant. You'll soon see why. It's Madeline Sami. Every strike must be with a unique object. Why don't you just rest your arm a little bit? Is that okay? Yeah. Well, it's getting really tired. Thank you. Fair enough, man. Every strike must be with a unique object. Why do I have to strike at it? What do you want to do instead? We've got six and a half minutes. <laughs> What's that? from you, Mads. I did think about trying to leap over the fence there, but it wasn't a very forgiving tuxedo. It was only the fence that undid you in the end. And the smell of petrol actually was starting to make me feel a little bit faint. Right. <laughs> you smell, would have run out of petrol, actually, used so much. Uh, so how long did Madeline go for? Uh, Madeline kept the balloon up for three minutes and 21 seconds. <laughs> So he scores Angela one, Brinley two, Guy three, Lee four, Madeline five. I'm coming. <laughs> Why are you so far away? 
Don't film this bit. Hello, Andrew. Hello. This feels like The Bachelor. Why don't I start all the way over there? We, we needed a tree. No, no, no. Yeah. Make this tree sexy. Sexiest tree wins. How am I going to make a tree sexy? It's already sexy. Many ways. I, I mean, I often think that the sexiest thing is something being turned on by itself. You know what I mean? Are you with me? Not really. Yeah, maybe some lipstick. Or... No, that didn't really show up. I think I made out with a tree. <laughs> So what's the uh, sexiest tree you've ever seen, Paul? A pahutakawa in bloom, set to the song of the tui. Oh. <laughs> Sounds very alluring. Should we have a look at some uh, flora? We shall. This next attempt is one from Madeline, who is making a direct play for the Taskmaster's heart with this very sexy attempt. Sexy? Sexy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you think you can hit this one? Well, you probably can't, you silly bloody kiwi, <laughs> sexy kiwi bloody cricketer. <laughs> Here we go, you bloody sexy kiwi. Six off the last ball, good luck. <laughs> Won't sing my tail lot. Cricket's not, not fair. A very bold assumption, Mads, that my love of cricket actually arouses me. <laughs> but it does. So that actually paid off. I can't believe that we're going to put that on television because for me that's essentially pornography, what I saw there. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She was very method in the role. Like, even when they weren't filming, she stayed in character, and that character's name was Brett Shane Brett. <laughs> I figured what's, like, the most Aussie name you could come up with, and I thought Brett, and then I thought Shane, and I thought, why not double Brett? Yeah. I think you should get four points. Thank you. Because you actually made a 14-year-old teetoki hit the ball out of the middle of the bat, which is quite sensational. <laughs> Hello, Angela. Hello. Hello, Madeline. Kia ora, Polda. It's no disc. That's fine. Not weird. Make the biggest thing disappear. Biggest thing made to disappear wins. Do you have one hour? Oh, fuck, this is so long. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> if I push the caravan to the lake, are you going to be pissed off? Yeah. I have made exes disappear. Oh, wow. It was my first crush, Linda Carter, the original Wonder Woman. She's an angel. Yeah, I've made people that have slighted me disappear from my life, but Again, that's more of a... It sounds like you're killing people. I haven't, I haven't killed anyone. I sometimes have those dreams, you know, where you think you've killed someone, and I think, oh, did I kill someone? But then it's just a dream. Why are you shuffling nervously? Huh? Why are you shuffling nervously? <laughs> oh. Well, you can understand why Paul was shuffling nervously. I mean, how many ex-boyfriends have you made disappear? Cat! <laughs> <laughs> that was the last word Jared heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who are we going to watch first? Has she killed people? No one knows. <laughs> Does she kill this task? Let's find out. It's Madeline Sami. <gasps> oh, God. Good evening, afternoon, any time of the day it is for you, New Zealand. We are here in Riverhead, in a vacant field. Nothing but me, my magic mind, and this yellow caravan, which will soon disappear. I will make it happen with the use of my magic. Come with me. Be astounded. No tricks, no camera tricks. Just me. Boys! <laughs> oh, 
That's how to get a connection. Oh, it's close. It's heavy. It's a really heavy, heavy, large caravan. Take a lot longer than I thought. It's close. It's so close. Obviously, it's quite a closely guarded secret in the magic community, but how did you make that caravan disappear? If I told you, Jeremy, you might have to go missing like Jared. <laughs> how long did it take Madeline to disappear, that caravan? Uh, one minute and 13 seconds. <laughs> it, was, it was very heavy, mm. and I'd only just picked up mind movement, is what I, I'm calling it, um, that morning. So, you know, and it is a weight-based thing, so. And that was the task, the biggest thing. So. Quite a big thing, a caravan. Um, if we're using caravans as a unit of measurement, uh, then the item she made disappear was one caravan big. <laughs>